Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Evernote and OneNote. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the pricing model. Evernote allows free access to basic features such as search and tags, taking notes, and file attachments. Furthermore, the app restricts advanced features such as custom plates and software integration to paid subscribers. On the other hand, OneNote allows you to access its basic features such as Web Clipper and text search and advanced features such as dictation and video and audio recording for free. Therefore, OneNote is a good option for users who want access to more free features. Note-taking features Evernote allows you to add nearly anything to your document. For instance, you can add emails, images with text, or Slack messages. Moreover, it offers annotation capabilities and text image searches from any source. Similarly, OneNote allows you to add different features but with limitations. For instance, you can add data by typing notes, recording audio, or adding web clippings. To annotate in OneNote, you must open the document as a printout first. Therefore, Evernote offers more note-taking features. Interface The user interface of Evernote is neat and clutter-free. It's simple to use and has an intuitive layout. OneNote has an interface full of color icons and nearly unlimited canvas for drawing ideas. It offers a more visual freeform strategy for organizing your notes. Therefore, Evernote offers smoother navigation and user-friendliness. Pricing the current Evernote pricing structure offers a 60 megabyte monthly free plan, a 10 gigabyte monthly storage at $10.83, and a 20 gigabyte monthly storage at $14.17. Please note that these are current prices and could change in the future. OneNote is currently available for free and includes up to 5 gigabytes of OneDrive storage. Therefore, OneNote is economical if you're using the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. But do they have any similarities? Yes, both are apps for taking notes and allow you to type and add files, audio, images, or sketches. You can also use them as collaboration tools with remote teams and can sync them across different devices. They allow integration with other tools, such as Salesforce. To sum up, which is better, Evernote or OneNote? I found Evernote's interface friendly, allowing you to take notes and organize them easily. On the other hand, I found OneNote easy to access by downloading and using without paying a penny. However, OneNote didn't offer me more advanced features like Evernote. Overall, I choose Evernote as the winner due to its wide range of features and ability to take and organize large amounts of notes. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.